<clears throat> so hi everybody welcome to unwind design my name is kim i'm your teacher for today first things first we do have our 11 by 14 size canvas right here up in the front we also have our brushes starting with our large background brush then we have our round our square brush this is our size 5 8 brush right over here we have our background brush i'm using this one yours is a little bit colorful we have our round tip brush that comes to a point. That's our size five. And we have our liner detail brush, a really small one. And that is a one and a half or a two dash zero, okay, or 2.0. Next, we have our colors starting with our primary. These are the colors that you can't mix or make up. They just exist in nature. We have our yellow, red, blue, white, and black. We have our brown. And these are the colors that we're going to be using for all of this painting today. Cool. So getting started, we're actually going to be starting with our large background brush first. And of course, like always, my paint is sticky. So we need to add some water on there to make it nice and soft. Coming in with my large background brush, picking up a little bit of this water. We're going to tap that again. We don't want it to be too soaking wet. Then we're going to come in and we're going to start off first with our yellow. Love this. Okay, we're gonna be starting off with our yellow and we are gonna sort of start to paint this downwards from the middle down. So I'm coming in side to side and I'm using my brush the thin way instead of doing it the thick way, which you can do too, I'm doing it the thin way. I like to get those lines in there. So we're gonna start off with that yellow. We're gonna come down right along the middle as we get halfway down the canvas, our lines are gonna get wider. So we're gonna come in with that yellow and we're gonna to start to, make sure you have enough water in that, by the way. We wanna make our paint soft like sour cream, not like toothpaste. Right now, this looks like toothpaste. So we wanna bring it in. We wanna expand it to the sides a little bit. And we're gonna to start to come down. I love to add water in there, um, not only because it makes it easier and smoother to, to use this, but because it also stays wet. So when I add other colors, the colors blend really nicely. That's why I like to add a good amount of water in there. I like to get a nice mixture of colors. So we're gonna start off and we have our yellow. Before this dries, I'm gonna come in real quick and I'm gonna add just a little bit of red into my yellow to get a slight orange, you see that? So with that orange, we're gonna start to come in from over the top a little bit and we're gonna to start to come in from the sides. Again, I'm using my brush the thin way. I'm not using it like that. I'm using it like this, and I'm creating sort of a horizon type of design. We're creating this really cool look coming in from the sides. You can do the other side as well. Here we go. Coming in, starting to brush in from the sides. And because this is wet, like I told you before, um, it's going to start to look so nice, guys. It's going to look really pretty. Okay, coming in from the sides. And you could even work a little bit of that orange in the middle. If you don't think it's going to affect it, you can totally come in and kind of just cross it on there. Coming down. Starting to brush it very slow over the top. If you see so many lines and you don't like it, like teacher, I want to get rid of some of these lines. Just go over the top really slow. And as it's drying, that'll flatten the lines that are sticking out. It'll flatten them. You'll still get the variety of colors that we have, but you won't have any lines sticking out that are necessary. You can come back with a little bit more yellow and work in some more yellow right in the middle, going back and forth. Okay, come back with a little bit more of that yellow, bringing that down, starting to work that into the sides a little bit. I still have some of that orange in my brush. So when I add yellow, it's actually gonna make my yellow just a little bit darker. It's really pretty. It's more of like a mustard color. So again, I'm adding that right in the middle, playing with that yellow created a halo effect. I'm gonna add a little bit more red to my yellow to make it orange. I'm gonna make it just a little bit darker. Okay. So the more red you add, the darker your orange gets, the more 
yellow you add, the brighter it gets. Okay, once we start to go down, we're gonna start to come in with that orange. Okay, and we're gonna start to scrape it downwards. Okay, see that? Coming in with some more, almost like we made a halo there, right? Super nice. Coming in with that orange, scraping that in. Okay, and as we go down, we're gonna start to pick up some red. As we go down, we're gonna start to include some red, working it little by little downwards. almost over. So from here, we're going to begin to outline our, um, first, we're going to actually start by outlining our guitar so that we know where to put everything else. Okay. So we're going to come in with our skinny, tiny little lighter brush, pick up a little bit of this white. What's up white? Nice to see you today. Let's do this. And we're going to be doing a circle that's going to get thin and then get a little bit smaller on this side with the center of our guitar going down. If you really don't know how to do it, this is the perfect way to do it just so you don't mess up. Let's decide where we're going to have the neck of our guitar. We're going to have it up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a line angled going down. Okay. So I'm going to come down about halfway down my canvas. Okay, I'm going to go halfway down my canvas. So corner, leave about two, three fingers, make a line halfway down your canvas. Okay, from here, we're actually going to go about maybe three fingers up and we're going to start to shape our guitar. So it's going to be a little small. This is about maybe my uh, as wide as my hand. Okay, the top section. So we're coming in. We're doing the top of our guitar. And it helps to do it with white because when we go in and paint it in whatever other color we're gonna be using, um, it really helps to have it in white since you really can't see white. So we're coming in, we're going out a little bit more on the edges, making it a little bit wider. And then we're gonna come in and start to do that curve. So we're doing a curve there. Later on, when we fill it in, if you want to make it a little bit bigger or wider, you could go ahead and do that. This is just kind of a basic outline so we know more or less what it's going to look like, right? So then here, we're actually going to start to make it a lot bigger, okay? 
Okay, so we're coming in. And this one is going to go down. And we're just going to come back up. Again, if your lines are a little bit more striped, it doesn't matter. Again, we are going to be filling this in. So that doesn't even, it's not even a, ain't even a thing. So we're coming in. Let's do actually the top again. If you want to fix it, here's your chance. You're going to be painting it all in blue. So it does not matter. Don't be hard on yourselves. Don't feel like, oh my God, I messed it up. My life is over. No, it's not. Your life is not over. You guys are fine. Breathe, breathe, get a paper bag and breathe. We're good. We're going to come in. Let's do this side, curving it down. Coolness. There we go. So from here, you more or less have that. We can actually start to do our banners. So for our banners, you can do them with a white line first or with the black line first. We're going to come in. We're going to do about maybe a hand's worth of space to start our first line that way. And then up on top right here, about another hand's worth of space, we're going to come from this corner and bring it all the way across. and end about right there. See that? So you can come in and use all the colors you wanna use. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna use yellow, blue, and red to make different triangle banners on here. So here's one, maybe another one right there. I'm gonna come in with my red. I'm gonna do another red banner right in the middle. And we're going to add some banners on this section. Instead of using plain blue, mix a little white with your blue to get baby blue. And that's going to be the other color of the banners you're going to be using here. Okay, so this one is actually in the back. So we want to put our banner behind this first line that we see up top. Okay, so I went behind that line. So it looks like it's in the background. And we're going to keep that up. Do another one over here. Come back with a little bit more of a yellow one. Let's do some red. Right there. And we're going to keep playing with these real quick.
from here, we are going to paint in our guitar. So here's a trick for the guitar. We're going to go a little bit darker towards the bottom. Oh, all right. Let me fix that real quick. Look at that. See, I make mistakes all the time. You just come in with a little bit of water. Obviously, that was not dry. That's why it's so important that we dry our canvas all the way or else you get a mess like mine. So we're going to come in. And the trick here is to make it a little bit darker towards the left and then a little bit lighter towards the top. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to start off first with our light color. And instead of doing just a, a blue, I'm going to make it look a little bit more like a turquoise color. So we're getting a little bit of that blue. We're mixing it into our white. See that, getting our baby blue. And then to this color, we're gonna add just a tiny little drop of yellow. You're gonna be like, wait a minute, isn't that gonna turn it green? Well, actually, just because you mix it with a little bit of white, it really does such a big difference. You get such a pretty color. We're gonna start off first. I'm gonna mix a little bit of that with more white just to make it lighter, closer to the top. There we go. And we have that same color, just a little bit lighter. And now we have it just a little bit darker. So I'm going to come in with that color and I'm going to start to just paint that section in. Bam, use the corner of your brush nice and steady and that'll give you the straight line you're looking for. That way you don't have to go back and try to make the straight line. Grab the big brush, press it firmly. And that's why it's so important that you have enough water in there. Okay, you're going to come in and just bring it, making that line. If you have to go slow, go slow. Nobody is pressuring you, okay? And we're just gonna go in. And I'm getting it a little bit lighter. If you want it even lighter than that, you can come in with just the straight white and you can add it to that side and it'll make it lighter on the spot. See that? And we can just kind of Pull that in, start giving it a little bit more dimension in there, bringing it all the way down. Again, a little bit more of that white. If you want to make it lighter. And we're going to come in and just fill in this guitar. We're going light on top. And as we go down, we're going to start to pick up the color just a little bit darker, which means it's going to have just a little bit more blue. You see that? See how I'm starting to get it just a little darker in there? It's going to be fading. Oh my gosh, this feels so nice. It's like ASMR for like your hands. So buttery just sliding on that canvas. Mm -mm -mm. It's like smelling a new book, you know, you just get this feeling. <laughs> You're like, ah. Oh. You guys ever do that? You get a book and you just like, nobody's watching and you just smell it when it's brand new. And You're like, oh my gosh. This is amazing. It's the most like relaxing thing in the world. <laughs> You're like, no teacher, I don't do that. You're weird. <laughs> All right. So like I said, we're going to go a little bit darker towards them. Do you guys even read books anymore? You guys have your like your tablets and your phones off. Books are like for dinosaurs, right? All right. So we're coming in with just a little bit more of that dark blue. And we're going to start to make it just a little bit darker as we start to get towards the bottom. Look at that. Look at that transition. Look at that gradient from dark to light. Super cool. See, and all it is is just adding a little bit more of what makes it dark. Coming in, such a rich color. Gosh, I love blue. This blue's making my mouth water. All right, let's see. I need to drink some water. Okay, so we're coming in. Do you guys ever do that when you see a color and you're like, oh, I see this color and it reminds me of a smell or I see this color or it reminds me of a flavor. You know, a lot of artists think that way too. And if you do, that's not weird. You know, or you listen to a song and it reminds you of like, kind of like when you hear a song and it reminds you of a memory, sort of the same thing, except that it happens um, with more of like artistic things. You know what I mean? Like smells, flavors, music, et cetera. Okay. So we're coming in and if you can see, it goes from a light color to a darker color. Once we start to get to the center, we're coming in with a little bit more blue. Go all the way down. And that's gonna be our guitar. 
Let's go ahead and dry this so that we can add all the really cool details. All right, guys. So from here, we're picking up our square brush, picking up a little bit of water, and we're going to add some water to our brown. Okay, so we're coming in, adding some water to our brown, making it nice and soft. And we're going to add just a little bit of black. Why are we doing that? We want to make sure that that color really stands out on top of this blue. So we're just gonna help it out by making it a little bit darker. We're gonna pick up a little bit of water. We do want our paint to be nice and smooth. And we're gonna come in and work on making the neck of our guitar. So the neck is gonna go about three fingers down, okay, or four fingers down from the top of the guitar, okay? So here we go. And we're gonna grab our square brush and we're just gonna come in and we're gonna press, trying to keep that line as straight as possible. Okay, mine looks a little crooked already. It looks like a crooked stick. So I'm gonna move it just a little bit. Adding a little bit of black to this brown again. Okay, and we're gonna make this line nice and straight. You want to put it right in the middle and you want to make it about maybe two fingers thick. Okay, here we go. Let's bring that all the way up. Once we get to the top here, we're going to just Add a little bit of an extension to the side of the neck. Once we get to the top, we're gonna make it just a little bit wider. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, just a little bit wider. And then right on top, we're gonna make a little bump. You see that? And that's the top of our guitar right there. I think this light might be too bright for that. See, so we're getting a little bump on top there, kind of mimicking the shape of our guitar up on top, okay? okay. Right here on top, we're gonna go up, just give it a slight little bump, and then we're gonna go back down. If you do want to make it a little bit lighter, you can come in with a little bit of that yellow and you can scrape it into the inside to brighten it up a little bit. If you want to do that, you don't have to. You can also add a little bit of white. Remember, we do want to keep this slightly darker only because we still are going to add our frets and we're going to add our strings. So we don't want it to be too light. We do want to keep it a little bit dark. Okay. From here, we're going to make that straight line. Once we're done with that, we're washing our brush. And we're going to pick up our round tip, our number five. Okay, our number five, we're grabbing some white with it. And we're going to do our circle right in the middle, nice and big. Coming in with a little bit more of that white. So we're coming in with a little bit of that white, again, going in a circle. Okay, if it's not perfectly round in the middle, that's fine. You can even color the whole thing white if you want to. From here, while we wait for that to dry real quick, we're gonna grab a little bit more of that dark brown. And right towards the bottom, okay, so we're gonna skip about three fingers from that circle down. We're gonna come in and do a straight, straight line that is holding on to the strings. So we're gonna try to make this look square as much as possible. 
okay coming in making that line trying to make it look kind of blocky on the sides you know this painting looks so much more difficult than it really is right like you're looking at it and you're like wait a minute this is not that hard it's kind of easy yes very basic shapes I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry this, give you a chance real quick to catch up. From here, we are gonna be grabbing our round tip, picking up a little bit of this black. Let's go ahead and make a circle right in the middle with our black. Okay, let's go ahead and fill that in. Awesome. And then using our really little brush again, notice I'm going back and forth a lot, right? So with my little brush again, gonna come in and I'm actually gonna make a couple of black lines first. Let me zoom in to show you what that looks like. So we are coming into the fretboard to the top. And right here, we're just gonna make six lines. One, two, three. We're gonna do the same on the other side. One, two, three. We're gonna pick up a little bit of this black and just make a thick line going across the sides of it. Do we want this one to be a little bit thicker? Perfect. And there we go. And then we're gonna be playing with our white, which is gonna be super cool. Our white is gonna be first on our martini glass right here, because we're so fancy. You know, it's a it's an alcohol-free martini glass, okay? So it's actually like just green squirt or something, right? So then we're gonna add a little bit of water to our white and we're going to make this really funky glass right here okay so i'm going to do it a little bit different than the picture only because the picture has it on top of the guitar and i don't know if i want to do that um, you guys can do it if you want to we're going to come in on the side here and we're going to do the bottom of the cup first so i'm coming in i'm going to do a little almond shape almost like we're doing an eye okay so we have that almond shape from there we're going to go from the middle up okay so we're coming in we're doing the neck of our glass you know what maybe i will do it into the guitar okay Coming in with a little bit of white to make this line right there, giving it some of that shape here. Okay, give it a little bit rounder. Get that going up. We're gonna just open it up a little bit. Okay, you see that? From there, we're gonna close it. it. Looks almost like a triangle up here. Okay. And we're gonna make our first curve. Okay, so again, it's a little curve. And then we're making a bigger curve. And then right on top of that, we're gonna come in and we're gonna make a very skinny oval. See that? We can come in and just with our brush, make some lines going up sideways, make it look like it's some sugar or some salt on top. Okay, coming in. 
and we're just making these lines up there. You can make like X's on top of that. If you have a little bit of the baby blue that you used for your guitar, you can actually use some of that to add a little bit of a shape to your glass. So I added some lines underneath with that baby blue. I went up, added a little bit here on the sides as well on the glass. Okay. Come in with even a little bit of the dark blue. Okay, you can see that. And the color that we have inside is gonna be green. So making our green, it's gonna be a very light one. We're gonna have some blue, some yellow, and to make it lighter, we're gonna add more yellow and some white in there, but we're trying to make it like a lemon green. So we wanna make sure we have a lot of yellow and then our white. See, and we made almost a minty color on there. So this minty color is what we're gonna fill this up with. It was the same color we used to make this, baby blue with yellow, except that you're gonna add a lot more yellow. And we're gonna have that green drink in there. The other thing we're gonna be making is gonna be our lemon. So again, green with yellow or blue with yellow to make our green. And we're gonna make a lemon size shape right there. Okay, we have our lemon arch. And we're just gonna come in with a little bit of the yellow. And white, just come in and make that lemon shape in there stand out just a little bit more. See that? So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of time to catch up with this drink. If you wanna add a highlight once you're done, you can come in with that white again and just put a line right over some of this drink. If you wanna make it a little bit bubbly, you can add a couple of dots in there. So it looks like the bubbles are going up. Again, adding a little bit more of the lines to create the effect of it being a reflective surface. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a few minutes to finish up this glass. Add all the details you want. If you wanna add sprinkles to the top of your glass, you can go in there and just add some sprinkles to the sugar part on top. See that? After adding the crystals, I'm going to go in with my detail brush, wash it off and grab a little bit more of that dark green, which is just a little bit more blue added to that original green mixture. I added it to the rind of the lime and underneath my margarita. I'm also going to go in and emphasize the lines on my fretboard by straightening it out a little bit with my detail brush and my brown. Make sure to wash your brush before that as well. We're gonna be using our detail brush, picking up our red. And we're gonna to start to do some triangles all around this section right here. So let's come in, do some triangles. I'm also gonna get the red and I'm gonna to start to just make all these designs in the back, almost like it's a fiesta, okay? So there's like confetti in the back. We're grabbing some of this, you know, doing some lines, doing some dashes, some with some curls. So you're gonna go in do the center and you're going to come in and just do all these really cool designs on here okay just play in the back it doesn't have to be super strong lines it could just be simple lines okay so just really fast nothing too complicated okay coming in with a little bit more of that red over here you can also use the green and do the same thing with some of the light green that you used so that we can see some really cool textures in the back you can add white curls pink curls, blue curls, whatever colors you want, right in that back section. See that? We're starting to give it personality now. I love it. It's looking really cute. Nice. I'm going to come in with maybe some of that light green. Let me see. So it was the blue with the yellow. 
and just a little bit of white, just so that it's not too dramatic. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, it's looking really nice. I actually really like it. Yes, this one's a winner. Okay, so I'm gonna add a couple of lines, make it look like we have some lines coming from the back. Up here as well. You can get some of those lines down here also. If you need to add a little bit of black to the red to make it stand out down here, you can totally do that. And that way it looks like there's shadow. Okay, don't bring it all the way down. We are gonna be adding some shadows down here. So again, we're also using our red to do these little triangles up in here. So again, I'm adding red triangles around this white part of the inner circle. I'm going all the way around, adding those red triangles, remembering to pick up a little bit of water so that my paint will be a little smooth when I apply it. I can also go ahead and frame all the triangles and then go in and fill them in. That's a lot easier and it's a lot faster as well. After this, I'm going to be grabbing my detail brush and adding a couple of details around the background. Adding those red swirls, washing off my detail brush, and then picking up a little bit of a highlight with my yellow and my white to add on the triangular banners that are hanging from the top. Just adding a couple of highlights to add variety and to make it look a little bit more, more festive and colorful. From here, we are gonna use some water, same brush, picking up a little bit of blue, adding a tiny little drop of black so that we can get a dark blue. See that? We just added a little bit of black to it. And we're gonna to start to add the designs around the guitar. So here's a little bit of a line. You can also get creative and add whatever designs you wanna to add to it. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine, okay? So I'm gonna come in, add a line that goes around. And then right here, I'm just gonna come in and do sort of like an S shape. You see that? So again, a little bit more of an S shape. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Come in, curve it in, and then go out. You can come in with that black line and just, or dark blue line, and just sort of outline the bottom of the guitar here real quick. Cool. Give it a little bit of like a depth behind this. So I added a little bit of that blue line over here again it's completely up to you and on this end i'm actually going to now wash my brush after you're done with your blue we're going to wash our brush and we're going to pick up some white the white is going to be the highlight on this section making it a little bit different and we're going to start to work on the strings so i'm going to add a little bit of a line down on the bottom if you want to grab some black and go one, two, three, four, five, six. We want that to be about as thick as the neck. If it's too big, it's not gonna look cool. We're just gonna come in and we're gonna start to do these lines. You might need to make your neck a little bit darker to match it. So be prepared to do that. If you made the dots a little bit too far apart, make sure to do that again, okay? To make the neck just a little bit wider. So we're gonna be working on that. With the white strings, we're gonna to begin to add some strings from the top to the bottom, okay? Before we do the strings though, real quick, do some frets. So this is what you call a fret. It's the line that goes completely across. And we're just gonna string that first from left to right, all the way to the top. Okay, once we get to the top here, 
We're gonna add a couple of dots in between each one also. So we're just gonna go one, two, one, two, and we're gonna do this all the way to the top. Okay, let me turn it around so that I can get closer to the neck here. Cool. So from here, we're gonna begin to do the strings going down the side of the neck. We're gonna start off one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's start off with the ones in the middle. We're making two lines going straight down. You see that from the middle? Let me zoom in. These lines are gonna be going down, all the way down, okay? If your lines are not straight, that's fine. You don't even have to make them all the way straight down. You can just kind of more or less make a loose line so that it looks like it's straight. Okay. And we're going to bring this all the way down. Okay. From here, we're going to come in and do our lines going up from the bottom so that they catch the lines that are already there. Okay, this is a very loose. Doesn't have to be super realistic. We're gonna do about another two on this side going up. A total of six strings, okay? So we're doing two more on that side and we're doing two more on this side. If your strings don't look straight, that's perfectly fine. That's not a problem. If you always want to come back and maybe fix that, you always can. If you want to come back and fix that, you always can. So you come back with some of that blue and you can always just cover it. It's not even a problem. Okay, so we're going to bring this line up. Next, working your way from the sides. Same thing going down and the other line going down as well. And we're going to bring these strings as much as we can to the bottom. Again, the lines don't have to be super straight. This is very loose, making it look like if we just have some strings going up. Same thing right here. Making it look as if we have some of these strings going up. You can add a little bit of an outline on the side of the neck. You can come in at a little bit of a highlight. That as well. Okay, so when we're done with these sections right here, I'm going to actually go in and instead of putting my signature at the bottom, I'm going to come in and put my signature right at the top of this guitar right here so that it looks like it's the brand or something. Just a little fun way to hide your signature. See that? So I actually put my signature on there and it looks like it's part of the guitar. There's a lot of artists that hide their signature. They'll put it along the bottom of the guitar right there. You can write it in the guitar. You can write it. For me, I'm going to do it just right up on top of this neck right here. Cool. So the next thing we have to do is we're going to be grabbing a little bit of our round tip and some red and black. So I'm using my round tip, picking up a little bit of my red, adding some water, picking up a drop of this black. I'm gonna make it just a little bit darker, okay? I want it to be darker than what I have here. We're gonna make a shadow, okay? You can even add a little bit of blue on there and it'll turn it a little purple. It'll be nice. So I'm gonna go in, just add a little bit of that blue. I'm gonna make it just a little bit more on the purple side. Nice, it's looking good. Cool, so with that, with that color, we're gonna begin to add sort of a shadow down here. So let's go below our martini glass first or our drink and we're just going to scratch it towards the right. 
see that? And we're beginning to add a little bit of a shadow. This is gonna give us the effect of there being a floor here. So now all of a sudden it looks like there's a floor when before it looked like it was just kind of floating there, right? Nope, there was a floor. I'm gonna come down from the bottom of this guitar. Same thing, I'm just gonna scratch it. I'm not painting really hard. I'm just scratching it, creating this effect. We're gonna come back with a little bit more of that red and black or your purple again, which was blue and red. And I'm gonna to start to scrape it towards the right, okay? Mm -hmm. At halfway, I start to go sideways. I don't bring it all the way to the top. See, cause then it's gonna look like the shadow's way too high. We stop halfway and then we start to pull our line directly across. And you get this really neat shadow effect below the guitar and the margarita. Make sure you blow dry your piece when you're done. Moving on, we are gonna start off with our liner brush, come back, pick up a little bit of water. We're using our black, that is our final color. So we're gonna be picking up a little bit of this beautiful rich black. We're gonna add some lines around our guitar. So we're gonna start to just outline it. Again, the lines don't have to be too dramatic. You can be just nice and quick with them. You don't have to be super soft, super straight. So you don't have to be worried and be like, oh my God, like my hand's shaking. Don't worry about it. Just be nice and quick about it. See that? I'm not trying to be super perfect. I'm just trying to create some line and give it some structure. There we go. I come in, I'm gonna add a little bit of a black line below this as well. Give it a couple of lines across, come in. I'm gonna add these dots down at the bottom that are holding it in. Okay. And then we're gonna work on these banners. Let me flip this so you guys can see it better. And this is the little extra that we're doing here. So we're coming up at these banners, coming in with our liner brush, picking up some water, adding it to our black so that our black feels like ink. And with our brush, we're gonna begin to add just a really quick line. See that? Here's a line, we're doing another one. We're doing another one. This one's towards the back. Okay. And then finally, we're gonna outline these little banners. And this is a trick with these, okay? So we're gonna actually just curve it on top. And then we're just gonna go do these lines, curve it, and then do these lines. The curving is what's gonna make it look as if they're hanging on by just the corners, okay? See that? So we're going to do it again to all of them. I'm doing the back ones first. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. If you guys want to write anything in the banners, you can write fiesta, you can put your name, you can say welcome, you can say happy birthday, you can say whatever you want to say on there. There you go. And this adds a really cute look on the banner. This looks so much more complicated. Turn it around again. There we go. And then let me zoom out so we can see the final picture. After this, you guys are done. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to check out our videos on our website at www.unwindanddesign.org. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe and like. Thanks.